Hey guys, so welcome to uh, yet another tutorial on the iReal animated series. Uh, this is the fourth installment um, of the iReal line, and just like the previous products, uh, this one was designed to be just very simple to use and also uh, as realistic as possible. Uh, so without further ado, let's just jump right in now. Um, in our content library, uh, you'll find the product within the props uh, subfolder. And I include three uh, basic option, animation options. A gust option, a up and away, and up and down. So uh, let's go ahead and load the gust um, option into our scene. And let's frame up here. And actually, let's change our background to uh, to black, just so we can see what's going on here. Okay. So I loaded the prop, and that loaded a container, um, static part of the mesh, and the animated part of the mesh. And as you can see here, I um, include little directions, uh, select me to position. So we use the container to actually position. And we can even scale and manipulate you know, as any prop. Um, and then the static mesh and the animated mesh, we could change the materials with. Uh, so we would do that by simply twirling down to the submenu and here now we can change uh, some of our material options and of course to animate it we would want to highlight the animated mesh and then add it to our animate timeline and then simply drag the respective any block out and of course the any blocks are located in your any blocks folder in the iReal animated dandelion. Okay. And now that we have the uh, any block out there, we simply play it and now we have our animation. Okay. And that's pretty much all there is to the product. Um, now, if you're only doing still images, of course you don't need Animate 2. Um, you would just not uh, apply the any blocks, and you would just have a static prop that you can use in your scene. Um, but if you're doing animation, then of course you would need uh, animate to to animate it. Okay. And that is the iReal animated dandelion. 